Only family can be back here. He doesn't talk to his family. Pneumocystis pneumonia is typically seen in cancer patients, the elderly, not young, healthy. Yeah, he is a heroin user. Well, heroin shouldn't impact his T cells like this. What's happening? We're gonna figure it out. I'm not going anywhere. It's not poison oak, it's not bruises. Bruises are normally isolated and not symmetrical. But I have seen a few cases like it as of late. <clears throat> we'll have pathology back in a few days. How's Sacramento, Cleve? Well, we got the gay rights bill out of the labor committee, finally. Makes wearing those disgusting ties almost worth it. I, uh, I saw a spot like it on a guy's back who I was with. Tell him to come see me, too, then. It's not like I got his name. Well, if you see him again. Why? If it's what I think it is, it's something I'd normally only see on old farts. Are we done here? I don't want to waste another moment of this weekend. I called my guy in Jersey, and he said he's seen cases like this, too, and homeless drug addicts. They all died, Pat. What if we've got what they have on their streets on ours now, too? Is this kid gay? What's they got to do with anything? The CDC just put out a new morbidity and mortality report. In it, they talk about immune issues in New York and California in gay men. If this is real, what is it? It's one report, very dry. So do me a favor, find out if the kid is gay, and then let's keep it amongst ourselves, OK? Don't have to Sacramento. <laughs> While you're in Sacramento fighting for freedom, they're all landing here to get their first taste of it. Hundred millions of and I'm gonna screw every last one of them. <laughs> Daniel's smart. He convinced the whole block on Geary to let him wash their windows for five bucks each. Ah. But as soon as he gets enough to score, he disappears. When he comes back, I think, all right, this time, I'll get through. Yeah, I get that. You want me to go with you to see him? I went to see Pat Norman about him. But yeah, you have more experience with kids like that, so yeah, I'd love you to come. <laughs> it's Tuesday night. The boys are late. <laughs> and you are ruining our floor. Oh, come on. The Gay Liberation Front was the name first chosen to describe the organization of homosexuals come together to assert their pride, their feeling that they had been uh, denied their rights and that they were very angry. We want the freedoms, the freedoms to love and sometimes even to love a bit in public that belong to the heterosexuals in this country. You know, now that I'm a public official, I really should stop coming here, don't you think? You're more an assistant to a public official, don't you? <laughs>